Guys, what's going on? It's Fazer here from P4C. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see in front of you and I today, uh, three PSA graded cards, and these are the three PSA graded cards that will be up for grab uh, for our July Patreon uh, lucky draw. Uh, for those who have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, I have a Patreon page up and running uh, for you guys if you guys do enjoy our content and want to uh, give me that extra little bit of support. And as a token of appreciation, uh, every month uh, we will run a lucky draw uh, for PSA graded card or any graded cards. And uh, obviously, this is the second month running now. This morning, uh, my time, uh, we we have announced the winners for the June uh, Lucky Draw winners and also subsequently or consequently uh, announced uh, the cards that are up for grab in July and as you can see uh, we've got a bit of everything but most importantly uh, we've got a Jet Min 10 Charizard V card in Japanese up for grab. Now if you are indeed uh, very interested to get into the draw and wanting to support our channel at the same time Make sure you go to the link on the screen right now as well as in the description below uh, For as little as five dollars uh, five dollars USD each month uh, you can become our patreon page member and uh, like I said uh, go into the running uh, For the lucky draw to win one of these cards as you uh, have seen uh, some of our recent PSA return And we are actually going to get more PSA cards back as well as the year goes by fingers crossed uh, We will continue to have really really awesome cards up for grabs uh, for our patreon members so make sure you stay tuned uh, and once again thank you for your continuing support all right as for today's opening I thought I'll mix it up a little bit uh, because uh, we, you guys would have all seen a lot of chilling rain opening online uh, although I think the people who are looking for codes would want and continue to see some uh, chilling rain opening but before we mix it up a little bit and open this particular box that is right in front of you and I uh, this is the SD Gundam uh, Heroes Battle Mission cards uh, this is something new this is the first set that ever uh, come out and it involved uh, a franchise that is uh, in fact even older than the Pokemon franchise which is the Gundam franchise all right before we go ahead and open this box and talk a little bit more about Gundam uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it make sure you hit the bell for the latest videos and updates all right uh, without further ado let's go straight into this box and let's see uh, what kind of gems we can find all right before we go into today's opening uh, as you can see here there's 63 cards in this particular set uh, 30 cards are normal uh, 18 are rare uh, 10 of these are called super rare which is SR and then 5 of these are ultra rare now I'm not sure if there is such thing as secret rare as well so this set might go beyond uh, 63 cards but we'll see and we'll find out and also something that I'm a little bit unsure of uh, is whether you're guaranteed uh, something uh, <laughs> uh, within these uh, boxes. It's my first time opening up this and this is quite new. This is literally the first set ever for uh, SD Gundam um, World Heroes uh, anyway. So we'll go all the packs out and we'll open it one by one. But for those who are not too familiar with Gundam, Gundam is a franchise that has lasted uh, 40 years plus. Uh, so when I say it is uh, well and truly older uh, than Pokemon it is in fact uh, in fact so so we are going into our first pack here uh, in fact Gundam is actually a, a franchise that I, I really fall in, in love with um, probably in my uh, from my uh, teens maybe not even my teens maybe uh, in the 20s uh, uh, just because there's been a lot of great series uh, starting from tap, that point onwards here and then, uh, so I don't actually know how to tell uh, whether these are, you know, rare or secret rare or not. So we've got a, a we've got a Sazabi here. Uh, so just from the first two cards, so you, you get a, uh, you get two holo cards, but um, other than that, I don't really know how to differentiate the rare cards and the non-rare cards at the moment. So. Uh, 
uh, you, you see the uh, crack eyes uh, effect there. So this is a um, Edward uh, Edward Gundam. I think it's an Edward Gundam V, and then this is a Sasa V there. So the latest cartoon anime uh, in Gundam is, of course, this particular. Uh, show here which is the SD Gundam Hero where they uh, partner historical figures uh, with uh, the many or big list of Gundam that is uh, available uh, in the um, in the Gundam well actually so uh, I'm actually really well versed in Gundam as uh, in terms of the history and everything so I would actually say I'm more well versed uh, than than it is in in Pokemon in fact so uh, you can uh, ask me almost anything <laughs> about about um the Gundam series there, but uh, basically, I think from uh, no sort of spoiler alert, uh, but I, my understanding is that this particular anime is based off, uh, you know, three uh, Romance of Three Kingdom. If you don't know what it is, it's a uh, historical Chinese uh, tale, uh, and then again, nothing there. Uh, so this is a strange card there. We've got a. Uh, a Strike Freedom Gundam, but uh, again, can't really tell which one is the Altria. I, I guess I'm guessing it's one of those things you know when you pull it, uh, the Altria or the Super Rare. So uh, we've got uh, these four cards here so far. I don't know. I don't even know how to spread it uh, at the moment. Of course, Strike Freedom is from the Seeds uh, Destiny series, and uh, so is the Ak Akasuki here, also from this uh, seed. Destiny series as well. So um, I, I guess as a kid growing up, I, re I really love robot types of anime, and that's why I'm, I, you know, Gundam is probably uh, one of my uh, personal favorite. And uh, you know, to to have some cards here. Wow. Okay. I think this is obviously very different here. So I'm assuming this might be a super rare or it might be even an ultra rare here you can see that the subtle difference uh, between these cards here so this is a uh, go this is actually the goku impulse uh, gundam here uh, so this is what i mean this particular um anime series uh, uh Gundam is had a lot of historical figures mixing up with uh, the Gundam series. Now, not all Gundam looks like this. This is actually SD Gundam, which is uh, SD stands for Super Deform. So they kind of shrink it a little bit to make it a little bit more cuter, I guess. But Gundam is uh, originally is uh, obviously quite big, and I'm not sure if you guys seen any Gundam series. One of the most popular Gundam series, I would say, for people outside of Asia or outside of Japan, would be. Uh, Gundam Wings, uh, so very popular, and that, and, and when you see it, that's the type of Gundam that people should be a little bit more fam familiar with, uh, rather than this uh, the SD Super Deformed. And nonetheless, it still has a big market as well. So uh, very, very excited uh, to open these. Now I haven't actually followed the anime. I think there's 12 episodes, and you can actually watch these episodes online. Um, and there are actually English subtitle as well. So this is one thing that I guess uh, I'm not sure if it's Bandai or in uh, or Gundam uh, themselves, the company um, really step up the game in terms of promoting uh, the, the series. And I, I don't know why, but it might be uh, it might be a few things. Uh, we've got a Torgis here. So this is again. Uh, these two guys, uh, in terms of name, they are from Romance of Three Kingdom, uh, Crossbone Gundam, and Torgis, which is uh, from the Gundam series. So, again, uh, with all this uh, Goku, uh, this Goku Impulse Gundam looks really nice, by the way. Uh, but, yeah, so they started streaming a lot of Gundam, um, even like... Uh, 20 minute long episodes online uh, for free uh, so I remember watching um, Seed and Seed Destiny and I remember having to wait for the English subs to come on uh, which and then have to download it from BitTorrent as well I know it's not the right way to do it but you know at that time I was living in Australia and uh, and you know it, it is hard to combine in terms of getting the episode and and uh, and watching them so and that's why we had to do it that way there but um but now you know uh, i think you know gundam realized that you know the power of obviously internet and 
broadcasting and streaming and that's why they've de decided to do it this way and I don't know if people are coming across it but I certainly have but and anyway to get to the point uh, they are actually streaming all episode of uh, the Gundam World Heroes uh, along with English stuff so if you want to go check it out yeah uh, I might put it in the description link down below uh, I am in no shape or form sponsored by Cardex Bandai Gundam uh, I just genuinely love uh, Gundam series um, and I want you guys to be the same I want you guys to be the same and you know but having said that having said that uh, I've been really disappointed about Gundam recently though uh, and not to say I don't love this uh, Gundam World Heroes uh, I think I don't know for me I feel this is a little bit more suited for a younger audience rather than myself uh, it just I think if I feel a little bit disappointed uh, as we get a Destiny Gundam here uh, and then I see my Destiny Gundam and the Torgis 3 here the reason why I'm disappointed is that I don't feel like they had a proper really nice Gundam series after the Iron Blood Orphan and uh, I might be talking jargons here because I, I feel like not, not a lot of you guys will probably understand but uh, I, I felt like the uh, Gundam company or franchise haven't produced anything I would say dramatic uh, dramatic will probably be the right, right word uh, dramatic as dramatic as the Iron, uh, Iron Blood Orphan series uh, and I think it's because and, and Gundam is a franchise is, is a strange one because uh, a lot of uh, the revenue from Gundam comes from model kits of uh, Gunpala uh, and you know yeah, yeah, and not everyone my age would be going out to buy these model kits and, and similar to Pokemon similar to Pokemon they want to continue to have uh, audience coming into the franchise right so that's why they're continuously aiming uh, for younger audiences uh, as well so uh, we've got a uh, Sword Sword Wing Gundam here and then a Unicorn Gundam a Ruby Unicorn Gundam here so uh, but back to my point so the, the all the Gundam series of late uh, where it's uh, the Gundam build or tri build and all those kind of gun parlor series I feel they were more aimed towards uh, definitely aimed towards people younger than my age um, maybe kids around that sort of 10 not even younger than that I would say H9 uh, 10 years of age yeah nothing here uh, and quite honestly I haven't watched any of those build and try build and I mean the Gundam looks really awesome because they uh, they've taken all the series that have uh, that are available right now and then kind of like ripped uh, the Gundam uh, apart and then Kind of combine them with different parts as well so uh, if i don't know if that makes sense for a lot of you guys but uh, what i mean is that you you see a gundam that will have different parts from different series highlights uh, in into one gundam it, of course it looks pretty cool it does look pretty cool okay nothing here it does look pretty cool but um you know i, I, just, I just don't relate to it but one thing though um if you have netflix again i'm not sponsored by netflix as well so if this is just my personal opinion and you know wanting to show you guys my love for uh, the Gundam series here but uh, as of 1st of July in my region anyway uh, Netflix is actually going to show uh, uh, Hathaway's Flesh uh, and Hathaway Flesh is probably a really good how do I best put it if you're looking for something short and wanting to explore the originality of Gundam uh, I would actually recommend you watch Hathaway uh, uh, Flesh or Flesh of Hathaway I can't remember which way is the English goes but um, because it has a really um, Hathaway Flesh again uh, don't want to uh, uh, spoil for people but it has that originality in it because it does um, continue from the original original Gundam series which came out in like the 1980s or something like that uh, and yeah so I, I would urge you to go check it out uh, and and that like, funny enough this that is something uh, I have watched recently from Gundam which I really really enjoyed uh, and because maybe because I'm a big fan of the old Gundam stuff uh, my favorite series of Gundam um, 
in fact is uh, Gundam Z Zeta or Gundam Zeta uh, which is kind of like the second series of Gundam uh, anime series, TV anime series uh, ever made uh, after the original Gundam there so uh, as we also continue to I think this is the only card that I get uh, this uh, Impulse Gundam here so um, so we're down to the last few packs, but I hope this video gives you guys a bit of an insight into what Gundam really is uh, for those who have no idea what it is um, and the fact that they have cards now, which is great here. Uh, again, I think we're only allowed to have one special card per box, but uh, having a look at these cards really uh, actually, I'm really happy. I'm, I'm uh, uh, um, you know, again, my first time. Uh, opening this and of course these are quite new as well um, you know this is not an investment guys this is just me loving uh, a f particular franchise and they have cards and of course I love cards and you know and this is why we're kind of opening it and um, you know this is not a uh, a particular purchase where you put in the back of your cupboard and you will uh, and this will explode in a uh, hundred times in value in 20 years. Uh, I would be the one, and I might be wrong, but I am coming out and say that uh, uh, it will definitely won't be uh, a, a collection that will uh, compare to uh, some of the uh, Pokemon uh, collections there. But either way, I'm ha I'm really actually having fun opening up these packs, and um, and I hope you guys. Can sense that I'm also having fun talking about Gundam. Uh, you know, we talk about Pokemon all the time, and I guess, you know, our channel started from uh, from a Pokemon beginning, and I do continue to still like Pokemon and love Pokemon. But so once in a while, you need to take a break, and uh, this is refreshing for me anyway, and I hope it is for you. And our last pack, last card, uh, we've got a uh, dual Gundam here. So. Uh, that's it for today's opening. All right, just as a quick review, uh, not much to show. We've got a bunch of uh, sort of crack eyes. Uh, you can, I, I guess, these are kind of like the reverse holo rare, right? So uh, we've got some double ups there. Uh, but the main pool today, and I guess you get one kind of super rare or ultra rare from each box, uh, which uh, I have no idea whether this is a SR or a UR, so Super Rare or Ultra Rare, but in fact this card looks really awesome. I actually much prefer this type of art than the modern one that they have. Uh, you be the judge, but I actually do prefer this type of art. Uh, compared to the the newer ones. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoy uh, this particular video. Something different, uh, and I had an absolute blast actually opening up some uh, of these Gundam packs and actually talk Gundam. So uh, if you guys uh, know anything about Gundam or uh, want to talk Gundam, uh, make sure you put it in the comment below or even reach out to me for IG. If you want a chance to win one of the three uh, PSA cards that we showed you guys at the start of the video, make sure you go ahead and join uh, our Patreon page, which is also in the description below. Uh, guys, uh, if you enjoyed it, give us a like, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for the latest videos and updates. I think we are going to go back into opening up some Pokemon packs in our next video and obviously going to continue to hunt for some alternate art uh, from the Chilling Rain set. So, if you're opening up packs today guys, may the God of Pools be with you, always.